Welcome back to the Torque Test Channel. Sometimes you guys will post a comment on our videos or other videos we comment on with some pretty good suggestions. Like buying this Gen 2 mid torque which performed quite well in its last video versus the previous generation. As a matter of fact your comments and replies have been not only helpful in determining where we should go next, they've been downright thoughtful and encouraging. We went into this with some apprehension. After all, we're pulling the curtain back on some of these tools we test by showing just brass tacks performance which we thought might ruffle some feathers, but consider our faith in humanity restored. A few weeks ago, we got a reply suggesting we should test Milwaukee's new high output batteries, specifically the smaller CP 3.0 high output versus the standard XC 5.0 5 amp hour battery that comes with most of their tools and doesn't come in a high output version. Now we plan to test all of Milwaukee's M18 battery sizes and generations. Uh, next Wednesday, we'll we're explaining the differences and the advantages of each and testing them all, but that's going to take us a little more time to put together, and we still have the HD 12.0 high output that we're borrowing on its way here. So for now, let's address the question at hand. Does a Milwaukee M18 high output line of battery make enough power to offset the size and the capacity difference between the CP 3.0 3 amp hour battery and the XC 5.0 5 amp hour battery? So let's throw it on the dyno and see. We're skipping right to the best case scenario test. This is the 5.0 amp hour battery and then followed by the 3.0. You may be looking at this curve and you're like, okay, samesies, the batteries make the same power, but this is pretty significant. The CP 3.0 making 447 and the XC 5.0 making 451 means they're equivalent. At 15 seconds, at 9, 10, 11 seconds, at 1 or 2 seconds, they're equivalent. The 3.0 making a tiny bit more power at 4, 5, 6, 7 seconds is even more significant because this is a smaller battery. And if you're thinking, well, maybe just battery capacity doesn't influence power, you'd be wrong. We've been testing some cordless impacts of a different brand recently and among that brand battery size makes a huge difference and I think that's true traditionally from Milwaukee but this high output line seems to bridge the gap between the 5.0 and 3.0 size batteries. This is useful because the 3.0 battery is not only lighter shown here at 5 pounds 2.5 ounces versus 4 pounds 14 ounces but it's actually smaller too so in a mid-sized impact wrench like this, you're shaving around an inch off its total height, which is pretty useful. So if you own a mid-torque, this new CP 3.0 high output line of batteries might be the way to go for you. The only thing you're losing is capacity, so if you're going to be using this for extended periods of time or you don't have a backup, you might need to go with the 5.0. But if you're just talking about power, you got increased portability, less weight, fitted in more places. There's very little downside to using this. Tune in next Wednesday to see all the different Milwaukee M18 batteries tested for power, and tune in this Saturday to see another new Air Impact tested. We're excited to get back to Air Impacts for a minute. Thanks for watching and subscribe to come along for the ride.